evening, everyone. This is Rich Broski with VanDirector.com, and with me tonight I have uh, Dr. Stephen Kraft, the, the uh, band director of the Indiana University Wind Ensemble. Uh, just, we just heard the rehearsal of the program. It's going to be an exciting program, uh, lots of interesting pieces. And Dr. Pratt, welcome. Thank you very much for joining us for a few minutes. Just tell us a little bit about your program and, uh, and maybe some interesting things about the, some of the pieces that you'll be doing tonight. Well, sure. Um, everyone who's ever tried to attempt to put a program together uh, for this kind of convention realizes that it's, uh, there are so many different ways you can go. Mm -hmm. One of my concerns over the years has been to try to find a mixture of classic pieces, which we all know and love, and that's uh, exhibited this evening by the uh, Vincent Persichetti song. We're celebrating the 100th anniversary of the Persichetti centennial in that sense and uh, and so that is our tribute to the past our tribute to the future is a new work by andre previn this is not the premier performance uh, we were part of a consortium and several other groups have uh, done it it's uh, entitled music for wind orchestra subtitled no strings attached and it's a very interesting work previn's first work for completely for a large wind ensemble and um, I hope that the people in the audience enjoy the eclectic nature of the piece uh, that uh, brings a lot of his past. There are jazzy elements, there are Viennese waltzes, uh, I hear Brahms on occasion. Uh, hopefully it will be uh, an interesting uh, piece, a brand new piece uh, that uh, we're sharing with the audience today. Then uh, we have our wonderful soloist, uh, Jeff Nelson, who has been on our faculty for uh, several years now, part of a fabulous horn faculty there. And he is performing The Glass Bead Game. It was a Pulitzer Prize nominated piece by James Beckel, who is the uh, principal trombonist of the Indianapolis Symphony, but a fine composer in his own right. And uh, it's a showpiece for horn and uh, a sh showpiece in many ways for wind ensembles. We hope people enjoy that a lot. The other two pieces, the bookend pieces, are pieces that I think represent that hidden component that we don't always pay as much attention to as we should. And that is pieces that made a splash, were new pieces, performed perhaps in premiere at the CBDNA National Convention several years ago, but we tend not to come back to them and we will not develop a standard repertoire until we find those pieces which are new and then should be repeated again and again and then suddenly become or eventually become part of the canon. So those are Ra by David Zubay, happens to be on our faculty, uh, but a wonderful uh, piece. Um, and then closing with Jug Blues and Fat Pickin uh, by uh, Don Freund, also on our faculty. But both Ra and Jug Blues, I think, represent the kind of pieces which I would like to nominate to be part of the standard repertoire in 20 years. So that's our goal for this evening. That's terrific. I think there's a, there's a, there's a the, 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 the importance of premieres is, and new pieces is certainly there, but new pieces become, can become forgotten pieces if we don't continue to perform them. That's so right. Thank you very much. We really appreciate it. That's going to add a lot to the performance as, it, as we're listening to it tonight. Again, it's the Indiana University Wind Ensemble, uh, conducted by Dr. Stephen Pratt. It'll be... Uh, Concerts at 7:30 tonight, so just in a little little while. I've heard the rehearsal. You, you won't want to miss it. This is Rich Brasky from BandDirector.com. <laughs> 